Hey guys, this is Tiberian here, and today I'm going to make a quick tutorial about importing a, a model and texture into Unity and getting Unity set up and then exporting it so it'll play in a KSP. Uh, the first thing you want to do is start up a Unity. We're going to create a new project and name it my KSP project. Okay, there it is. You see, it's completely empty except for this camera over here, and you could probably go ahead and just delete that. If you need a camera later to preview a animation, you can just add it again by going to Game Objects, Create Other, and then Camera. Created this folder right here inside your documents, my KSP project. And in here you'll find Assets. That's where you'll be placing your model and textures. Now I'm going to grab the part tools file that I had stored over here, put it in the project folder and run it. It's asking you what you want to import, we want all of it, so you hit import and let it run for a little bit. Alright, and there you go, and it added the part tools scripts in here in your project. This is all the files that are in your assets and such. Now you want to set up your scene. You always want a container object. So you go to create empty. You can name it whatever you like. I usually just leave it alone and then I set it to zero. So that it's always in the center. And then you add the part tools object to it. Under KSP, part tool. All right, now it's telling you you need to set your game data directory. Now you have the option to set this to your mod directory inside your KSP install, so game data slash Nova Punch, and you would set it there, and then it would create all the part folders when you export right there, so you wouldn't have to move them over. I usually don't do that though. I usually just uh, set it inside project folder and do it like that. And select folder, and you can close that. Whoops, yeah, there we go. Now, now we need to import some uh, files here. We go into assets, it's got part tools in there. Now, we want to create a new uh, fo folder for your uh, assets. And then I have a, bl a blend file from Blender, that's what I use. I'll open this up so you can see it. It's just a nose cone from uh, my shuttle mod. Uh, ignore that. And that's just the uh, texture for it. And this is a normal map generated from that texture using the NVIDIA script tools. So if you can find out how to do that elsewhere, I'm sure. We'll close that. So we're just going to grab those files. Drag them over here. And now when you come back into Unity, it's going to pull them up for you. It shows up right there. Expand it, and now you've got a materials folder, which is the material inside your model. And there's the texture and the blend file and the normal map. Now the first thing you want to do is for your normal map, click on it. Go up here to texture type, change it from text to normal. Uncheck for create from grade scale, so because you don't want it to do that. And then hit apply. And now you've got those set up. Later on, which you have animations and stuff, you can click on this and change your rig and animation settings and all that. But for the most part, the default's good. And if you want to add this to your hierarchy, you just take this, drag it right off your game object, and it shows up in your scene. See right now it has no texture on it. 
So you want to set up your material. There's only one for now. You need to ch change your shader to the one of the KSP options. Since I have a bump map and a uh, texture, I want to do KSP bump specular because that'll give it shininess too. Oh, shiny. All right, and now you need to choose the textures. The main texture is going to be this blizzard nose texture. Right there. Shows up, right? Yep. And the bump map. And as you can see, it is bump mapped. Might want to turn down the shininess a little bit. And if you really want to get fancy, you can actually make a uh, specular map and change it all up. So now you've got the uh, texture set up, and they're all showing up. And you've got it drug over here. And since this is just a nose cone, there's no animations or no transforms or anything. You really don't need to do anything else to it. So you're ready to export it. So you click on your game object. You want to give your model name something. Usually you just want it to be model.moo, most people do. So just name it model, you don't add the .mu on there because it will do it itself. And then the file URL, you basically just want to uh, give it a folder to put it in. So I would just put my new part with a slash at the end and that will put it inside game data slash my new part. And then you change your texture format to whatever you want to use. Uh, you can choose MBMs, which are the uncompressed default ones. Uh, you can use PNGs. There's still a bug loading those, but some people still use them. Or you can use TGA compressed. I'll use TGA compressed for now. Uh, you don't need to worry about any of that. You're ready to write it, and you do write it. Okay, and then you can also save your scene so you can load this part up easier by going to File, Save Scene As, go into your folder, and it adds that right there, new part. So you can click on that and it'll load this hierarchy up just like you had it. And that should do it. Come back over here, go back to Game Objects. And you have have a move file and your two folder your uh, textures in your folder. Copy that. And now through the magic of video editing, we have added a part config and got KSP running in a window because you know that's required. And you can go in here and hopefully we'll see your part. There it is, my bad. And as you can see, it is in there. Uh-oh, I have shamefully forgotten to put a collider in my part. Wow. I want to back out of here. Go back into Unity. No collider, because I'm dumb. Go to Components. Physics. Mesh Collider. And you see it added the Mesh Collider thing right here. And we want it to be convex for KSP, always. It turns it green, and as you can see, it conforms to the uh, mesh as good as it can. This is a little weird, so you might have a little gap right there, but that's okay. So now that you have your collider, you go back over here, hit right again. Resave your scene. Go back in here and grab your file. Copy them. Overwrite, overwrite, overwrite. And then back in KSP. 
Alt F12 to bring up the debug tracker. Hit reload all. And now it has a collider and you can click on it and do other things with it. You could even attach a part to it. There you go. And that should do it. That took your part from completed out of your model with your texture on it, all the way through Unity and into KSP, where it works. Thanks for listening.